Hello everybody, Vlad here from Model Theme, coming to you with great news. Our NFT Marketplace Core add-on has received a substantial update and is now in version 2, 2.1 being out as we speak. So, there are quite a lot of new features that many of our users have been requesting and that you might be excited about. I know we are, so let's just dive into it. First, we've added more standards. The most important part being the ability to use custom ERC20 or BEP20 tokens when deploying contracts on the blockchain. If you've done some research in the field, you already know what they are, but for our not so savvy users, here's what you need to know. The ERC20 standard uses the Ethereum network and it's used for fungible tokens. This means that these tokens can be exchanged for others. For example, According to ethereum.com, tokens can represent virtually anything in Ethereum. Reputation points in an online platform, you know, like the metaverse. Skills of a character in a game, lottery tickets, financial assets like a share in a company, a fiat currency like US dollars, an ounce of gold, and that's just to name a few. Now, the BEP20 standard is built upon the ERC20 standard, but it's backed by the mighty Binance. And as a consequence, it's compatible with pretty much all wallets. One key takeaway from these two standards is that using the ERC20 costs more in terms of gas fees, takes longer to be validated, but it's much safer. Anyway, Whichever one you want to use, make sure that you do your due diligence and research very carefully beforehand. I've told you that we support more standards, so another one is the ERC721. This one is fully supported since the earlier versions of the add-on. Ethereum.com tells us about this standard that it provides functionalities like to transfer tokens from one account to another, to get current token balance of an account, to get the owner of a specific token and also the total supply of the token available on the network. It's a pretty cool standard and one that has totally shaped the way we use NFTs. Another standard that we support at the moment just partially, but the next update should fix that, is the ERC-1151 or 1151. It's what we would call a multi-token standard. In essence, the ERC-1151 token can do the same functions as an ERC-20 and an ERC-721 token, and even both at the same time, making it much more efficient. One more standard our team is working on is the ERC-4907. It will be available in the new update. Uh, this standard is for renting NFT. It enables NFT's ownership to automatically pass back to the original owner once the lease time passes. It's a really interesting standard and I urge you to look it up. Besides these important standards, the NFT Marketplace Core add-on now has implemented an offering system where any user can make offers on other people's NFTs. If the NFT owner approves, the sale is made and the NFT passes from one wallet to another. With this new update, you also get the option to unlock hidden content. After the purchase of the NFT, your buyer can access the hidden feature. That can be an image, a video, an audio file or a PDF containing information. Another thing it does is to add extra features to our compatible themes, like having a separate dashboard for NFT-related stuff, and there are more such features in the works. One more thing you can do now is to hide explicit content or NFTs. It's a great feature for when you want to restrict access to sensitive content. Because there have been a lot of requests, we now have faster auditing of the contracts provided by the thirdweb.com. 
This means you can have vetted and certified smart contracts without having to worry about the specifics and you can start deploying your NFT marketplace faster. We've also vastly improved the NFT listing process with an overview table of your NFT details and we've also made it easier to cancel your listing if you're not happy with it. We've made a limited listing time available so that you can have NFTs available for a predetermined amount of time. And last but not least, we've made it possible to sell multiple NFTs in one transaction so your clients can grab as many NFTs they want without fearing they might miss out. These are the most notable changes that we've made to the NFT Marketplace core, but the add-on is packed with features and knowing our development team, it will be updated with even more. I can't end the video without mentioning the fact that any question that you might have, you can ask in the comments section and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, cheers!